hi guys welcome back to flutter james channel thank you all once again for subscribing liking commenting and sharing this video and if you're new to this channel you're welcome and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video today we are going to be working on a simple dinner dress the basic measurement is your shoulder your bust under the bust tightening shoulder to under bust shoulder to waist hips measurement fold your fabric into two the widest part of your body is the hips Me measure your length short or lengthy this dress is going to have a strap hand so we are going to be subtracting five inches from our measurement to measure your shoulder Measure your arm O by placing 5 inches out from the fabric. Measure your shoulder to under bust. And measure one inch after your under bust measurement this is going to serve as the allowance for joining the top and the skirts together measure your bust and add allowance to it Measure your under bust tightening. Measure upwards from the folded edge of the under bust, which is one inch. Then you draw a curved line from that one inch. Then measure 3 inches from the arm O line. So from that arm O line now, you measure 3 inches inwards at the, at the shoulder area. You curve the lines to your bust point. So that's a new arm O. You curve it like an arm O shape from that 3 inches that, you, that you've measured down to your bust line that you've measured. Then, then you measure one inch on that arm o line that same line that you measure 3.5 at the shoulder weight measure one inch why because that's where we are going to be putting our strap you connect you connect a v-shaped line to meet with the one inch on the under bust so cut out the neckline and measure your waistline subtracting five inches so your shoulder to your waist basically is 17 so when measuring to get that 17 point you're going to be placing outward five inches like we did when measuring our arm old then add your waist and your hips measurement and also the length of your dress and right now i still don't know if i want this gown to be tight on me or if i want it very free for now i'm still contemplating so you, so you connect your lines cut them out to cut out the top part from the underboss that curve part that we drew we cut it out After cutting this how it is, you have two piece for the both side. For the back piece, measure five inches upwards before placing the front. Fold your fabric into two. So that five inches, that five inches is gonna serve as the bust part for us. 
for the front to remove the bust part so for the back we're going to add knee bags add five inches upward for placing the down part of the front so trace it out and cut it out the notch where the waist is and where the hip line is for the bust piece i'm cutting out an extra two pieces But I'm adding 3 inches allowance to get a gathers effect. You can add more if you want your gathers to be very visible. For me, I didn't have enough fabric, so I didn't add enough allowance to the piece. And I didn't get the volume I needed. That's why I'm advising you to add enough allowance to both pieces, so that after dragging them together to the right measurement, you have a good volume. I'm cutting out the strap for the hand. I'm, I'm cutting out the length of 12 inches and the width of 2.5 inches. Moving forward, I'm going to cut the interfacing for the back pieces. I am using 6 inches long for the interfacing. These are the four pieces for the front. So a loose stitch on the piece you added extra allowance. For the back part, I'm going to be joining my interfacing. So now fold the strap into two and stitch through. This is the loose, this is the loose stitch. Pull in to get your gathers. I am using the piece I cut out directly from my front piece as a guide to where I will stop. Turn out your strap to the right side, just where I'm doing mine. Place your strap on the gathered piece and sew it together. This is the back piece sewn together with the interfacing. Don't forget, turn it to the right side. I'm turning it now to the right side. We are going to mark out the point our strap is going to be sitting on at the back. Fold the back piece into two. Measure four inches inwards. And mark that point or notch it. Just make a notch or mark it with a chalk. We are going to be adding our interface into the front piece now. Okay, fold in your rope like you see me doing mine now to place your interface on right side facing right side and stitch around, leaving the down part open. Because that down part is what we are going to be using to turn the fabric over. So after turning to the right side, just make a stop stitch at the at the down part you didn't stitch initially, we'll just make a top stitch to hold the piece firm. To, to 
It's time to join the top and the down part together. This is how it looks after joining, as you can see. The gathers, the gathers at the bust area ain't much, like I told you earlier on, my fabric wasn't too enough to get a lot of gathers on the bust area. So I'm thinking if I want a slit at the front or not, I don't really know, but let's see how it goes. We are going to insert the strap into the back hole that we marked previously. Just wash as I'm doing mine, pin it down and stitch. We are going to be joining both sides together with our measurements. Initially, I didn't want it I didn't want it tight at all on my body, but I changed my mind now because I'm skinny, so I need it to be I need it a bit sexy so my butt can reveal a little. <laughs> this is how it is. I'm going to fix the zipper on the right side of the dress, side the right hand side of the dress. I'm glad I'm going to fix my zipper. So I'm going to be measuring 10 inches at the right side of my dress. But if you know you have a big butt, you can use 12 inches for the length of your zipper. Okay. I finally added a slit at the front. I marked a straight line. What I did was I just used chalk to mark the, how deep I want the slit to be. Then I placed the fabric on the floor and just cut a straight line to meet that point that I marked and I piped in neatly. Then I piped it neatly around it and I also folded the edges of the dress. At the end of the dress, I folded the edges also. I also thought of adding a rope to the waist to help me enhance my waist. All, all this are what I didn't plan for, but as I keep on creating and making this dress, I just feel I should add a lot of things to enhance the dress. I cut at 15 inches long and 2.5 inches width. You can make yours longer or wider if you want, if you want a very big or wide band. So on the waistline, I opened a little hole on both sides and I insert the rope and I stitch it up with my sewing machine. So I weaved all the rough edges because the fabric edges tend to be pulling out. So I weaved it all around and this is how it's looking, the final hard look of the dress. Okay, so please recreate yours and um, send them to my Instagram page. I'm going to put it up there for you to see or down below. You can just click and to take you there, share your pictures, share what you create. And I can't wait to see it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it had value to you. Please like, share, subscribe and comment on this video. Thank you so much. Your comment is so important to me. It helped me grow. Alright, so thank you. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next video. Bye.